It's kind of crazy. It's jam packed in here. Hi everyone, welcome to another market day video. If you watch my previous videos, I've been busy attending elementary school markets and today we are heading to a high school. This is actually my first high school market this year and today it's actually pouring outside. So we are just on our way to the high school and I will let you know how it went. If you're new here, my name is Kelly. I'm currently enjoying my maternity leave with my precious little one. She is not with us today as we dropped her off at grandma's. On this channel, I share my passion for crafting and attending the various craft fair. Currently, I make scrunchies and flower hair clip and I'm looking to expand into new products as I expand my home based business. Join me as I document my journey in running a small business while being a full time mom. We are currently driving to Sir Winston Churchill High School, which is a public secondary school that is located in Vancouver, BC. If you don't already know, the school is actually named after the former United Kingdom Prime Minister, Sir Winston Churchill. There are approximately 2,000 students attending the school. Most of our market have been inside a gymnasium, but for this high school market, it is located in the cafeteria. Stepping into a high school after a long time brings back memories of my own high school days. I distinctly remember the presence of vending machines scattered throughout the school, which is a convenient option for grabbing a quick snack. As we located our table, I noticed we were positioned right by the entrance. I really like where our table is placed as it ensures that every student entering the cafeteria has to pass by our table before reaching the other market areas. I'm going to show you all the goodies that vendors have at this market. Our table surprisingly experienced a consistent flow of people and it seems that we always have a customer at our table. The foot traffic was initially slow but you can already observe a few students trickling in here and there. Keep in mind that it is only 2.30pm and classes are still in session. When it hit 3 p.m., oh my goodness, you can see the hallway incredibly packed with students pouring out from classrooms and flooding into the market. The surge of students made it exceptionally busy and overwhelming, leaving us with no downtime. It's a little crazy. Oh my god, it got busy all of a sudden. It's kind of crazy, it's jam packed in here. It died down fairly fast at about 4.30 p.m. and it was like this for the rest of the day. We made most of our sale during that mad rush. Overall, I enjoyed this market. It had its ups and downs, but overall, I'm happy with the sales we made today. So we have one hour left before the fair end and it looks completely dead and I don't think that it's gonna get any better. Right now it looks like there's just mostly vendors um, talking to each other. You can see that there's a couple of empty tables in the back. 
We have a few, few people pack up early. I think it's gonna be dead for the rest of this hour. As I was walking past by the hallway, there was a room that is full of students in a theater. So I think that there is some sort of a show going on in the theater class. Hopefully by the time that ends, we get a little bit more traffic towards this last hour. If we don't sell anything this last hour, I think this market we will return to because it is on a Thursday night and not very many markets are held on a Thursday night. We sold a lot of items during that rush hour. I was pretty happy with our sales. So yeah, this market is something I would definitely return to. I was a little bit worried if we were going to make anything out of it because it looked very, very slow at the beginning. But then when school was over, yeah, there was just a lot of people and now all of a sudden, as you can see behind me, it's completely dead. My husband was also talking to another vendor earlier and he said it was not very well advertised. It's mostly the students who are going here who drop by and take a look at the fair. After when school is over, I don't think anybody else know about that there is a craft fair that's happening in this neighborhood. So yeah, it died down. So yeah, as I was saying, there's an empty table here. And we have another table here. This table was actually a girl who made scrunchies, so now I don't have competition. And here's another empty table. Right now it's 6.20, 40 minutes before closing, and it looks like there's a few more students trickling in here and there. I think it's because they were watching a show in the theater room, and now that the show's over, hopefully we can catch some more sales towards the end of the day. Regardless, if we don't make any more sales this last hour, this is a market that I would definitely return to. The table fee from this market was $10 and we made over $200, so that is pretty good, not too bad for a five hour day. I know other people can make more, but this is our first year doing markets. At least we didn't lose any money today, so yeah, I'm happy with our sales. Thank you for following my journey as I explore the different types of craft fair. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!